Story this hour, some petrol stations have already run dry following a start of a strike by petroleum workers. The Fuel Retailers Association has told the SABC this isn't due to the strike, but panic about a possible shortage that has caused a run on the tanks. The strike by members of Union Sapawu affects the main refineries and depots that supply petrol to garages across this country. <laughs> Taking to the streets and that act is already starting to hit motorists. You expect that when you get to a garage that you'll be able to get what you want in terms of uh, the petrol that your car's using. So it's obviously going to have a huge impact. Now I had such a, a low uh, you know, uh, fuel in my tank that I couldn't drive around and try and find 95, so I just opted for 93. And the situation looks set to worsen. Running out, motorists are already being turned away. And fueling the frustration is the uncertainty of when the strike will end. Motorists are now flocking to other petrol stations that also have minimal supply. This is my second garage already this morning. Um, down there is not here. They've already run out of um, 95. So, yeah, it's quite shocking. Similar signs in other parts of the country. The Fuel Retailers Association says tough times are looming. There are service stations already. Uh, reporting uh, run tries and I, I strongly believe that is because of the panic. From the uh, fuel retailer perspective, I mean, to have one day of no, short, of no, of no stock uh, is actually quite uh, serious, and uh, especially for low volume sites. So we are very concerned with uh, the ripple effect. Even with the petrol price coming down next week, the cost of the strike could run into hundreds of millions of rand. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News, in Johannesburg. Staying with this story, there was no activity at refineries and fuel depots around South Africa. Zepawu is demanding a 9% wage increase. Employers have offered 7%. <laughs> The power members picketing outside the engine fuel depot at Lang Lachte in Johannesburg. Inside, no activity taking place. The workers say they are happy their strike has gotten off to a good start. It's very good news for us because there's no one who's operating as we speak. The workers of Lang Lachte, they went out. The workers at Al Road, they went out. The workers at Watu, they went out. All Isando also, with Bank they went out, Mokopani, Deben, refineries, they are out already as we speak. The South African Petroleum Industry Association, which represents the employers, says it has put contingency measures in place to ensure that fuel deliveries to petrol stations are not impacted. But the workers say they've managed to put an end to such measures. We have a contractors in place which is main line. They needed to remove our product. But we have asked them, asked them peacefully that they must leave our product here. We will remove our product ourselves when we come back. This is our job. There's no way we can allow anyone to remove that product as we speak. Attempts to get a comment from Sapia and Sepau's national leaders about the latest regarding negotiations to end the stalemate were unsuccessful. Mbongani Mutua, SABC News, Johannesburg.